going to get the key of the piece under our fingers and in our ears. Um, we're going to do half notes, ascending and descending, not repeating the top note. Uh, brass, I'm going to have you come in first, brass and uh, bass. And then woodwinds, vocalists, and piano, y'all are going to come in uh, after uh, they, on their beat three. So you're going to count the two, or two notes and then come in. Because, you know, 
it's love. Love is very passionate and a very powerful emotion. So we have to really make it come through our flame. So go ahead and imagine someone that you love. Just think about them and how it makes you feel. Or, you know, a really cute puppy or kitten that you're just going to cuddle with and it makes you so happy that you just can't, you know, contain it. And just think about how that makes you feel. Makes you feel like warm and fuzzy or however you personally feel those expressions. So whenever we go through this again, we're going to go ahead and just imagine that we're playing for the person we love or, you know, a puppy or kitten that likes music or something. So. <laughs> All right, so let's do that again. And don't worry about um, dynamics too much, just do what you feel is right. They're constantly just like going everywhere. 
So let's make this next stanza a little bit more bouncy and light. And maybe maybe a little bit more space in between the notes. Good job, Ben. Great. Does it bring out those eighth notes more, but it also makes it not just loud all the time? Does anybody have any other comments? Yes. Maybe the vocalist can pay attention to important words and going to important words. Stressing those important words. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Y'all can, it's about love, you know, have fun with it. Definitely, definitely, I would agree with that. Anybody? Yes, Josh. Um, to me, it feels like. The emphasis keeps going back to that first beat, like we build into that. So like whenever we do have eighth notes, it's on like the second or third beat. Um, um, bom, bom, bom. So I think mm -hmm. we really build like like what Tyler was saying, but also we put more emphasis on that first beat. Yes, I, I definitely agree with that. And something to go along with what Tyler was saying about the swells, I definitely think we could shape the phrase a little bit more. So just look at it um, and like exactly with with Josh, maybe lead those eighth notes into the first measure, and then on the very last part of the phrase where it goes um, da, 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 really lead that into the very, the, the quarter eighth, sorry, the half note, dotted half note, uh, because that's where it finally resolves. So let's go ahead and do that one more time, and let's uh, incorporate some of those things that we could do a little bit better.
children. Well, it was great that you had us reflect on our performance. Is that something that doesn't happen a lot? I think it's really important. I love your teacher voice and your ability to speak in front of us and really like pull these answers out of us. Even if we weren't necessarily saying what you wanted us to say, you were still like, yeah, that was great. OK, next. But, but like, you, kept a, you kept a good attitude about it, and like, you were really positive, and I really love that about you. Yeah, I really like all that, too. It, I wish you just did more modeling. Okay. So yeah. instead of having to say, like, it's like love, it's like love, it's like love. Cause it, yeah, I, mean, I understand. Yeah, yeah, not everyone knows what that is. So it's like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> 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 that is true, and that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine, that's why I encouraged you in your lesson plan to put up a picture of a fluffy puppy or oh, something. I didn't notice you said picture so, of a puppy. Yeah, <laughs> so that, that way you could see it and you had some sort of, everybody has that aww, okay. motion so that that way it wasn't as, you even said it, It's a, this is an intimate subject and it's also, it's personal. Mm -hmm. And so if someone doesn't feel like they're loved or, you know, in your ensemble, maybe they feel they feel loved by their ensemble, hopefully, you know, they've found their safe place in music and that's great. But maybe they have something else to latch yeah. on to. I think they just misinterpreted what you meant. I was like, oh, maybe I should talk about puppies and kittens. Never more talk. Yeah. <laughs> more, yeah. Good. Let's go ahead. Um, going back to the modeling, I agree completely. Once you model at the end, I was like, wow, that, yeah, now I'm yeah. exactly okay. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay. more than that, yeah. And remember, you don't have to model it there. You can model it on your flute, right? Yeah. And do you have to do it from right there? No. No, you can do it from behind, so that way they don't, they could look at the fuzzy puppy. <laughs> and you can come back here, and they can have the aural with the visual image at the same time. Others? Good teaching, Kathy. 